methodology for scaling the Duke of Wellington. I've spoken to the security guard at Goma. He says it's not really his job to interfere, but he has done a bit of climbing himself. His observations I include here. First, get your mate to hold your coat. With his help of a leg up, you'll manage the plinth. Now, for the equestrian assault, you need three points of contact. On the marble flat stood, raise your left foot to the right haunch of the horse. Apply your left hand, feeling for purchase. Brace right foot to the back of the foreleg, or, so I'm told, fetlock. Right hand grabbling hard till you catch the vent in the Duke's long coat. Left Press for essential leverage on the neck of his noble steed. Now, launch yourself high and jam your left against the Duke's right boot, or Wellington. Keeping upward momentum and taking advantage of any sky hooks which come to hand, is say a rough frontal fosbury over the horse's neck and scrabble up on your belly, left foot working all the time for kick hold on the Duke's right thigh. Stand upright. Meeting the Duke, now, eye to eye. Steady, <laughs> steady, steady now. Hold on to his ears and breathe a deep draught of the elemental night. We assume you're doing this at night. The ascent is seldom attempted during daylight hours. Now, get your mate to throw up something to you, something you can leave there to prove that you did it and show you, you actually do have a mate and are not just some saddo climbing statues alone. How about a cone? Set this on the Duke's head at an angle, sloppy, jaunty or camply severe, your choice. Congratulate yourself. You have completed the standard assault and ornament procedure. Say yes. You're probably the sort of person who says yes. Before you descend, keeping hold of those ears, admire the dark, street-lit, warm Glasgow sky. Now, always bear in mind, though, that what you have heard here is merely technical advice. It is purely down to you for the why.